You know, I've always been fascinated by the people who have changed and reshaped the world around us. In the modern world, the people that come to mind for me the most are people like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Elon Musk. In the entertainment industry, I think of people like uh, George Lucas and Walt Disney. These are people who just completely re rethought how their industry worked. And the more I studied people like this, the more I realized that they all have something in common. And that's that they come from relatively modest backgrounds. I thought, isn't that interesting that people who have had such a profound impact on the world started out having very little access to resources. They really had to scramble to get where they were. And the more you think about it, the more you realize it's exactly the idea that they, or the fact, I should say, that they didn't have access to resources and that they couldn't just jump in and compete with the industry as it was that forced them to be creative and innovative the way that they were. So you can imagine someone like uh, George Lucas, for example, if he had tons of money coming into the film industry, we may never have gotten such a, such a groundbreaking movie like Star Wars was. To make Star Wars for, I think, around $10 million, which in, in film terms is almost nothing, he had to invent all kinds of new technologies that didn't exist at the time to make the movie look the way it did with the money he had. So it's the very idea that, that these people didn't have stuff to start out with that that forced them or, or allowed them, maybe is a better term, to be the people that they became. Napoleon Hill wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich, and he tells a story of his son in there. Napoleon Hill's son was born with no ears. The doctors told Napoleon that his son would never be able to hear or speak. And Napoleon Hill was bound and determined that this would not be the case. And he took all kinds of time to go through special exercises with his son and so forth. And one of the really interesting things is he always would tell his son that it was an advantage that he couldn't hear. He would say things like, the teachers will give you all sorts of extra attention, um, all kinds of stuff like that that, that really uh, allowed his son to believe that he had not a disability, but something that he could use to his advantage. And to make a long story short, he ended up using his knowledge of, of being hearing impaired to help uh, the deaf community significantly when he got older. And he did very, very well for himself. And it was, it was different from his other son, in fact, who, who had everything um, going, but because he had it all already uh, set up for him, um, he didn't strive to, to really um, make the most of himself. So there's a saying in our martial arts textbook, it says good excuses do not equal good results or do not produce good results. Something to really think about. And think about whatever excuse you're using to hold you back. How can you take that excuse and turn it into something that's creative and perhaps something that makes, uh, makes you special, unique, something that makes you uh, someone who changes the world around you? taking that thing that you perceive as a disadvantage, as an excuse, and turning around and using it as a tool to boost your success.